In this class, we will try to solve a problem on magnetic boundary condition. Now let us understand this problem. What it says that there is a region 1 of permeability mu 1 which is z greater than 0. There is another region mu 2 of permeability mu 2 of region z less than 0. There is a surface current also given as k ATAX. Now, we have to there is an already a magnetic field in region 1 is given by B1 2AX minus 3AY plus AZ. So, we have to conclude the magnetic field in region 2. Let us try to draw this and understand this problem. Let me call this as x, let me call this as y, let me call this as z. So, this is my mu 1, this is my mu 2. Now, it is being saying that there is a magnetic field B1, right, which is traveling from what? What is the region which is separating? The region which is separating is z greater than 0 and z less than 0, right. Now, it is being saying that there is a B1 in the region 1. So, can I say that the B1 is here? So, the B1 is given as 2AX minus 3AY plus AZ. Now, we have to find the B2. Basically, we have to find the magnetic field in region 2. Now, we all know that if I have to find B2, right? If I have to find B2, how can I find B2? B2 is nothing but, B2 is nothing but, it is the sum of the normal component in region 2 plus a sum of tangential component in region 2. Because any field can be broken down into normal component and tangential component. So, what we are saying is B2 in region 2 would be nothing but the normal component in region 2 plus the tangential component in region 2. Now, my first task is to find the normal component in region 2. From the magnetic boundary condition, we already know that Bn1 would be equal to Bn2, right? So, first thing is I have to identify what is the B n 1 in region 1. Now, B n 1 is nothing but the normal component in region 1. This is my magnetic field in region 1. I do not know it has 2 A x minus 3 A y plus A z. I do not know which component is the normal component. Now, let us assume this board as an x y plane. So, like this this board is an x y plane. Now, the magnetic field is coming like this, which is moving along the z axis. So, this is my z axis. So, can I say that to this plane or the board, this is the normal component. So, based on that, can I say that to this plane x y plane, the z is the normal component. So, we got the normal component which is along the z axis. So, the unit along the z axis is 1. So, it is 1 a z. So, I will say that b n 1 is nothing but 1 a z. Now, if b n 1 is 1 a z from the magnetic boundary condition, we know that b n 2 is also equal to 1 a z. So, for the second, for the B2, we have already found the normal component. The second task is to find the tangential component. How can I find the tangential component? We already know that H tan 1 minus H tan 2 is equal to K cross, sorry, it is A n 1 2 cross k right we have already seen this in the previous lectures now first thing is i have to find the h tan 1 because i know the what would be the b tan 1 b tan 1 would be 
see if one az if along the z axis is the normal component then whatever is left will be the tangential component so in this case if this is the normal component if this is the normal component can i say that this is the tangential component so my b tan 1 should be 2 ax minus 3 ay right so i got the tangential component in medium 1 if i got the tangential component in medium 1 how can i find the h tan 1 it is easy uh, let me rub this h tan or we know that b is is nothing but mu h so what would be what would be my h h would be nothing but b by mu right so with the same basis can i say that h tan 1 is nothing but b tan 1 divided by mu 1 it should be medium 1 right because all we are talking about region 1 so it should be mu 1 now what is b tan 1 b tan 1 is given by 2ax minus 3ay 2ax minus 3ay by mu 1 what is mu 1 mu 1 is given as 4 micro henry 4 10 to the power minus 6 henry so now i have to calculate this if i calculate this i'll get h tan 1 right so we have to divide this if i divide this i'll get 500 ax there will be ax and there will be a y component which would be nothing but 750 a y so this will be my h tan 1 let's rub this for a time being so that we can conclude on the other part let me rub this We'll use that so i know that h tan 1 minus h tan 2 is equal to a n 1 2 cross k so can i say that h tan 2 is equal to taking this that side so it would be h tan 1 minus a n 1 2 cross k right so what would be h tan 1 h tan 1 we have already know that it is nothing but 500 ax minus 750 ay minus what is a n 1 2 remember i have already told it is a unit vector pointing from region 1 to region 2 if i am traveling from region 1 to region 2 can i say that i am moving along the z axis this is how we are moving right so i am moving towards the minus z axis this movement would be plus z axis as the wave is moving like this so it will be along the minus z axis so this will be minus az cap right or simply it is az cross what is k k is nothing but at ax so it would be at ax if I simplify this, what will be the result? It would be nothing but 500 ax minus 750 ay. Now we know that we have to take a cross product of az and ax. The cross product of az and ax will give you ay. So this would be plus at ay. So further, we can simplify this 500 ax this will become 670 ay so i got h tan 2 so i have got h tan 2 now uh, let's rub this side So h tan 2 is this. Now, but we have to find the b tan 2. b tan 2 would be, as we all know that, what is? b is mu h, right? So what would be b? So just I have to multiply with b tan 2 would be, b tan 2 would be mu 2 h tan 2 
right what is mu2 mu2 is nothing but 7 micro henry so it will be 7 into 10 power minus 6 times of 500 500 ax minus 670 ay if i simplify this what i'll get is b tan 2 would be nothing but i have to multiply i'll get 3.5 ax minus 4.69 ay and this will be milliliters now so uh, now i have got the b tan 2 so i have got the b tan 2 and i already have a bn1 right so can i conclude the b2 it is easy to conclude the b2 so we i already know that bn2 is in the initial itself we have concluded it is az right so can i say that b2 is nothing but bn2 plus b tan 2 which ultimately comes out to be b2 is nothing but the normal component plus the tangential component so it is 3.5 ax minus 4.69 ay plus az so we have found it out b2 for this problem